Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the historic War Memorial Stadium for today's baseball doubleheader. And since it's the tenth.
All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to War Memorial Stadium for another day of beautiful, beautiful weather. And, of course, Builder Baseball. You know, what What could be better than that? Uh, the Builders take the field today against St. Vincent College out of Pennsylvania. They, they come in to War Memorial being the Bearcats of Vincent College, St. Vincent College. Uh, one and six so far on the season. They've uh, kind of just started off their season, and they're just getting into it, you know, the weather in Pennsylvania can be a little tricky here and there, and you know, it, it you know it just be like that sometimes, right? Builders uh, come in today with a record of twenty and three. They're sixteen and two at home, uh, one and zero on the road. They've only played one true road game, and that was against Brian and Stratton, who they played on Wednesday and took both of those games uh, in that double header here on Wednesday. And uh, they're three and one in, on neutral sites, so that's how they kind of finished up their time in uh, Myrtle Beach a couple weekends ago. It was three and three and one. So Nick Redmond's on the mound today for the Builders. Let's give you a little bit of fielding for the Builders. I know we're kind of used to it, uh, just in how they line up. So we got us Matt Phoebus in left field, Nate Eary in center. Uh, one change today for. This game one starting lineup is that Connor Gregory's over and right. Around the horn, we've got Riggs Ellis at third, Cam Weston at short, Nolan Edwards playing second, and uh, Hunter Johnson at first. Like I said, Nick Redmond's pitching, and Caleb Russell's doing the catching. So that'll bring, we'll kind of go over there, St. Vincent's starting line in a little bit. But that'll bring up number 50, Dylan Schmoody. He's the center fielder for today. This short season, he's batting uh, 154 as he singles over to short. And it's a quick 6-3 put out for the first out of the inning. I'm sorry that that camera is, I will have to adjust both of these cameras in between innings. That first pitch is in for a strike on Number 21, Mario Diso. He's the second baseman today for the Bearcats. He's batting 200 right now on their short season so far. That ball's fouled down the first baseline. Kind of one hopped into out of play. Two one, or I'm sorry, one and two's account. For Redmond, he kicks, fires, outside, ball two. That ball's hit right back up the middle. Another 6-3 put out for out number two. So that'll bring up Dalton Niccolo, the DH, number 26. He is currently leading. Well, yeah, pretty much leading. He's leading St. Vincent's with a 444 batting average. First pitch is a ball. Yeah, second one's in there for a strike. A 
low and inside. Ball two. Foul back to the screen. First strike two, evens the count. All right, we got the 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Here to, to Dalton. The lefty lines delivers, and that ball's foul down the third baseline towards the builder dugout. No real threat of getting and doing damage there, to be honest. All right, there it was uh, swing and a miss for strike three. That'll do it for the first inning. They go one, two, three here in the bottom of the first. Let me go fix these cameras, and we'll be back in just a minute for the top of the bottom of this first inning. We'll be back after this. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, welcome back in for the bottom of the first inning. Nate Yeary's leading off, and he's looking at a full, not a full count, even count, one and one. All right, 2-2, two, 2-2 two. Two, two pitch. And Nate has a fair ball down the third baseline. That'll easily be two for Nate. So that'll bring up 15 Riggs Ellis to the plate. Riggs is batting 316 so far on this season. First pitch is in there for a strike.
And Riggs pops that one to right field. Shallow right, it's caught. So that'll bring up Cam Weston. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the builder's batting order. It's very, pretty much normal. Nate Yeary led off, followed by Riggs Ellis, then Cam Weston. Then we have uh, Caleb Russell, Hunter Johnson, Nolan Edwards, Jeremy Harmon, Matt Phoebus, and then Connor Gregory batting ninth. First pitch to Cam was in for a ball. That ball stroke to left field and it's just a long out. That'll bring up Caleb Russell. Russell is batting 328 this season in uh, 21 games played. The game he's played in, he started. He's got three homers and 14 RBIs. Nate, Nate Yeary takes third base on that strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. On Russell. And that pitch is fouled away. Ball one. He got him looking. So that's it. The builders get one, no runs on one hit, and they leave run one or, well, can't talk already. And they leave run one runner on base. That'll do it for the top, bottom of the first inning. We'll be back here at War Memorial Stadium for the bottom, for the top of the second inning right after this. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back in. We're here for the top of the second. Let's take a look at that batting order for the visitor St. Vincent College uh, Bearcats. Leading off, they had Dylan Schmoody playing center field. Then uh, Mario Diso playing second. Dalton Nicklo was the DH. So coming due up now for the Bearcats here in the top of the second is Billy Peraz, the 
first baseman, followed by Vincent Amatucci. The third baseman, Derek Hald, the catcher. And then 7-8-9 is LJ Evans playing right field. Devin Bonine is the left fielder, and Alex Hess is the shortstop. So that'll bring Billy Perros to the plate. Billy's batting 391 so far this season for the Bearcats. That first pitch was a ball from Redmond. Redmond's 2 and 0 this season for a win-loss record. His ERA is 3.37. He has four appearances and three starts. He's got 10.2 innings pitched. So he's kind of just getting into the groove of his season so far. Kick. That one's fouled. Nope, that one's driven. It's not really driven. Popped to shallow centers. Nate gets under it for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Vincent Amatucci, the third baseman. And that pitch is popped to sh very shallow left field. Matt Phoebus calls him off, makes the catch for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up the catcher, Derek Hald, number 18. He's batting 167 with 12 at-bats, with 12 at-bats so far this season. That first pitch is in for a strike. That pitch is fouled away, out of play. And that pitch was lined over the shortstop's head, but what a grab by Cam Weston to do it for the this inning. Again, another one, two, three inning for the Bearcats. We'll be back for the Builders half of the second inning right after this. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus All right, welcome back. So the Bearcats actually line up like this with Bonine in left, Schmoody in center, Evans in, in right. Ambitucci's at third, Hess is at short, Diso's at second, 
Peraz is at first, Danku's pitching, and Hald is doing the catching. So that brings Hunter Johnson to the plate. Or he flies out to center field on the first pitch he sees. So that'll bring up the second baseman, Nolan Edwards. Number 23. Nolan is actually leading the builders with a 492 batting average with one home run and 21 RBIs. The first pitch he sees is a ball. The second pitch is also a ball. Nolan pulls that one down the left field line. And he's in with a sink. Oh, no. Nope. Sliding in for a double. So that'll bring up Jeremy Harmon, the designated hitter, number 14. And Jeremy's batting 333 with 16 RBIs so far. I spend a turn to try to maybe pick off Nolan, but uh, there's no one there to cover the bag on that first pickoff attempt. First pitch is a little high for ball one. Jeremy Harmon waits for his 1-0 pitch. And this time they do throw back. They say Nolan got back safely. It's very close. One zero pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Outside, ball two. Like I said earlier, it's a very nice day. There is a forecast. It's calling for some rain, but I'm pretty sure that's a little later this evening after these games should be over. Foul tip. Four strike two. But the weather right now is beautiful. Some light clouds in the sky. The wind is blowing out towards left currently. And that ball's fouled away over the first base side. All righty, so the 2-2 two -two pitch. Runner on second, one down here in the bottom of the second inning. The kick, the pitch, and it's grounded right back up the middle to the second baseman, throws off his back foot, but he got him. Very good play. All right, so I'll bring up Matt Phoebus, the left fielder, nuclear test technician apprentice. Matt Phoebus is batting, also batting 333. 
on the season. 51 at-bats, 14 RBIs, one home run. He's getting it done. There is a little mound visit by the catcher right now. Jeremy Harmon had an effective out. He got the runner over. So now it's up to Matt to drive in the first run of the day. He tips that one back into the mitt for strike one. So one pitch, foul back for strike two. So, oh, no balls, two strikes, runner on third, the pitch, and he gets him looking. Phoebus did not like that call at all. However, it is what it is. That'll do it for the bottom of the third, bottom of the second inning. We'll be back after these quick messages with the top of the third. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, welcome back for the top of the third inning. As uh, Nick Redmond's actually had a very productive and effective first two innings. He's thrown 21 pitches so far. And that'll bring up LJ Evans, the right fielder to the plate. And his first pitch he sees is a ball. Second pitch is in there for a strike. So that'll even out the count at one and one. Builders had a moment of silence before the, this game for, um, sorry, losing my train of thought, but that's okay. Uh, builders did hold a little moment of silence before this game for a uh, long-standing coach, Buddy Denton. He coached here for uh, a few years. For 19 years, um, he was a coach here at the Apprentice School. He coached at Kickatan High School for almost 30 years, where uh, he coached former Apprentice School coach Brian Cave. And that pitch is hit to second baseman Nolan Edwards, tossed over to first for the first out of the inning. So, you know, Coach Buddy Denton, he passed earlier this week, and, you know, all our thoughts and prayers are with his family. Um, he was very big in the baseball community here in Hampton Roads for over 50 years, and uh, he'll be missed. All right, so Devin Bonine is up. 
his count is currently even at one and one. Pitch was low for ball two. That pitch was fouled away. Two and two. So Nick Redman gets back on the rubber. Gets his sign. He's ready to go. Low ball three. So Nick has run the count full here on uh, Bow Nine. Payoff pitch. Strike three. Got him looking. So the builders throw the ball around the horn. That'll bring up the ninth batter for the Bearcats, Alex Hess. He's playing shortstop today. Alex has an 0-9-1 batting average and 11 at-bats. The first pitch he sees is a ball. And that ball is grounded to Nolan, scooped up, fires over to first. That'll do it, then the inning. Once again, the Bearcats go one, two, three here in the top of the first. We'll be right back with more Builder Baseball in the bottom of the third inning right after this. USC LA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's not really the playing field for everybody. back for the top, I'm sorry, the bottom of the third inning. It's the bottom of the order. Connor Gregory. And then we'll wind back to the top. So do up is Connor Gregory. And then we'll go back to the top of the order with Nate Yeary and Riggs Ellis. So Connor is batting 313 on the season. His first pitch is outside for ball one with four RBIs. Second pitch was a strike. Connor hits that sharply to the first baseman, but he takes a knee and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. I'll bring up Nate Yeary back to the top of the order. Nate Yeary in his first at bat. Doubled down the, the third baseline and then later stole third for his 22nd stolen base of the season. First pitch was a ball. Second pitch in there called strike. He didn't quite agree with that, but that's okay. Check swing on the third pitch for strike two. 
Snape's looking at a one-two count. And he got him looking, and he does not like that call either. Brings up Riggs Ellis, who flew out to right field in his first at bat. And I will just say this. I mean, whether these calls are legit or not, I mean, that is the third builder to strike out looking and one uh, Bearcat. So we've had four guys get rung up looking so far in this game. So Riggs steps in looking at a 1-1 one -one count. Strike two. So the one-two pitch coming shortly to Riggs. And that pitch is way outside for ball two. You know, you, you got to figure out where the, where he's calling balls and strikes and, and adjust, right? That ball is grounded to short, scooped up, and barely, barely beat the runner on that throw. So that'll do it for the top, bottom of the third inning. Builders go one, two, three. We'll be back for the top of the fourth in just a moment. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back to beautiful War Memorial Stadium where do up for the Bearcats is the top of the order. So Schmoody, Diso, and Nicklo do up for the Bearcats in this half inning. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is in there for a strike. Third pitch is in there for a ball. So two and one is a count. A strike. Strike two. Count is even at two and two. Dylan uh, grounded to the shortstop in his first at bat. And he strikes out here. So that'll bring up Mario Disso to the plate, the second baseman. First pitch he sees is a strike. Ball low and away. That pitch was also a ball away. Two and one is the count. So 
Redmond gets up on the mound, gets ready to take the next pitch. Whew. Caleb wanted that call. Ball was barely away. Three and one. That runs the count full at three and two. So here's the payoff pitch to Mario. And he pulls that one to right field down the line. It's fair. He turns for second. Connor gets the throw in, the relay, and he's safe. As the Bearcats record their first hit of the game. So it'll bring up Dalton Nicklow, the DH, who struck out in his first at bat. First pitch to him is a strike. The second pitch is also a strike. So the Bearcats have their first base runner of the day here with Diso on second. Inside ball one. We got a one two count, one out here in the top of the fourth inning. Bearcats seeing if they can maybe score one run here. But not in this at bat as Nick Lowe strikes out looking. He struck out in his first at bat also. So that brings up Billy Perros, the first baseman. That's outside for ball one. Redman checks the runner, turns and fires. Ball two. Two zero pitch. And therefore, strike. And that ball is hit hard to second. I'm sorry, third. And Riggs fires it across the diamond for the third out of the inning. That'll do it for the fourth. We have one hit, one runner left on base. We'll be back for the bottom of the fourth right after this. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. 
I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. Welcome back to War Memorial Stadium, where the builders are due up. Cam Weston, Caleb Russell, and Hunter Johnson, the, the three, four, five hitters for the builders lineup. So as Cam steps in, he first pitch he sees is a strike. Danku's had a pretty good day so far. Uh, three strikeouts, 38 pitches total. That second pitch in was a ball. Can run the count even at one and one. Ball two, low. Cam hits that right back up the middle into center field for a single. So it'll bring up Caleb Russell, the catcher, number nine. He's leading the builders in uh, the home run stat sheet with, with, I almost said nine, it's three. With three home runs. He's batting 328. Those three home runs and 14 RBIs. As Cam dives back. So the Builders now have their third hit of the day. Their third base runner. And that pitch was fouled off. for the first strike of the at-bat. Caleb pops that one pretty high to the second baseman. Calls everybody off, he's got it. That'll bring up Hunter Johnson, number 21. First baseman. He's kinda starting to get his swing back. Started the season a little little slow, but he's picked it up. Batting 345 on the season with 22 RBIs and a home run. Builders definitely want to get a run in. Get this guy around and score in this inning. A lot of zeros on the scoreboard out there in left field today. That pitch was outside for ball one. Again, turns and fires back to first, trying to keep Cam there. That pitch is fouled back to the first base dugout area. Cam's five of six on stolen base attempts, so they want to keep him there at first as much as they can. One of one's a count. And that ball is hit into left center. It'll get down for a base hit. Brings up Nolan Edwards, the second baseman. Like I said earlier, he's leading the team in batting average. He's two for two in the stolen base department. So we need a little, little small ball. I know. Coach has been preaching that this season. Play play a little more small ball, a little bit better. Runners on, one out. Let's let's try to just move them over. First pitch was in for a strike. And that pitch is popped out of play. 
Strike two. No one doubled his first at bat for the game back in the uh, second inning. And then kind of got stranded there. And that pitch is fouled away. Steps back in, ready for the pitch. And that ball is past the diving shortstop. That'll score one run as Cam slides in safely. Nolan gets himself an RBI single to left center. I'll bring up Jeremy Harmon, the DH. It's nice to see the builders string some hits together. First pitch is in there for a strike on Jeremy. So runners still on first and second. Catcher goes out to talk to the pitcher. Nope, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a whole mound visit. That's two mound visits, I believe, for the Bearcats. All right. Jeremy Harmon steps back in. He's got an 0-1 count. Runners on first and second, one out. That ball kind of skips up there. Or skips just past the plate. For a ball. Well, even the count at one and one. Swing and a miss for strike two. A little high for ball two. Evens the count, two and two. Runners on first and second. Bryce Post makes the jog out to the bullpen. Maybe just looking for a little setup action, maybe. Pitch is fouled straight back. Hits the bottom of the wire. Holding netting up right in front of me. We'll do this 2-2 count again. And that ball's stroke to center. Center fielder runs. It's over his head. As Jeremy stands for a double. Sorry about that. And Hunter comes around from second to score. So that'll bring up Matt Phoebus, who struck out looking in his first at bat. So 
The Builders have pushed two runs across here in the top and the bottom of the fourth. Matt Phoebus pops that one to right field. And Hunter faked the tag to draw the throw. Not Hunter, I'm sorry, Hunter just scored. That was Nolan Edwards. Faked the tag, drew the throw. So I'll bring up Connor Gregory. The number nine hitter in today's lineup. First pitch is in there for a strike. And that ball's poked to the second baseman who flips it over to first for the third out of the inning. So that'll do it for the builders. The builders score two runs. On four hits, there were no errors, and two men were left on base. So we'll be back for the top of the fifth inning right after this message. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, we're back for the top of the fifth inning which will be led off by Vincent Amatucci, the third baseman for the Bearcats. He flew out to left field in his first at bat back in the second inning. And the first pitch is in there for a strike. Redmond has thrown 60 pitches coming into this inning. And that goes off the catcher. And No, I'm sorry, he's thrown 50 pitches. I think I said 60. That was wrong. I misread my phone. 1-1 one, one pitch. That ball is hit pretty well into left or into center field. So he digs for two, slides in safely with a double. So I'll bring up the catcher, Derek Hald. He flew out to the shortstop in his first at bat. First pitch to Derek is in there for a strike. Second pitch is also a strike. 0 oh and 2. Quickly 0 oh and 2.
quick snap throw back to second by the catcher after that pitch was called the ball. Felt like Vincent was getting a little bit too large of a secondary lead. The one-two pitch is fouled away. So we'll do it again. Outside, ball two. So that evens the count up at uh, two and two. And Derek hits that one to right field. Connor settles under it, makes the catch, throws it in. And if Phoebus, or I'm sorry, not Phoebus, but if uh, Riggs could have caught that, the runner would have been out. So that'll bring up the right fielder, LJ Evans. with one out and a runner on third. As Coach Jones comes out to the mound to talk to Nick. There's no one up and throwing yet. Bryce Post and Justin Bradshaw did go down to the bullpen, but neither one of them have started throwing, just kind of loosening up. That was outside for a ball. Caleb Russell kind of held it there to say, you sure? Oh, but it, it, that one looked almost, maybe that one was just a little bit inside, more inside. So that one was called a strike. So 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside. Fouled off the batter. We'll take the count even to two and two. Occasionally, it kind of looks to me like maybe he's throwing a little hard, trying to overthrow. Maybe just a little bit at times. And that ball is hit to center field. Nate Erie's making a beat on it. He's under it, makes a grab. The runner tags and will score easily from third. So that'll bring up the left fielder, Devin Bonine. He struck out looking in his first at bat. That first pitch is in for a ball. Second pitch, hit to Nolan Edwards in second. He flips it over to Hunter Johnson for the third out of the inning. That'll do it for the Bearcats. One run on one hit. No one was left on, no errors, and no men were left on base. We'll be back for the bottom of the fifth inning after this.
Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. Welcome back. That'll bring up leading off for the builders is actually the leadoff guy, Nate Yeary, then Riggs Ellis, and then Cam Weston for the builders here in the bottom of the fifth inning. That first pitch is a first pitch skipped up there for a ball. Actually, it looks like Nate might have got something, one of them rubber pellets up in his eye. Second pitch is high for ball two. So Nate doubled in the first and struck out in the third. And he fouls that pitch off. Fouls that one off as well to even to count it two and two. Two two pitch is fouled away. Two count. All right, the three two pitch. High and outside, ball four. So that'll bring up Riggs Ellis. He's one for two today. He flew out to left and singled to center. Oh, no, that's Cam. My bad. Riggs is 0 for two today. He's flown out to right and grounded out to the shortstop. He drops a bunt. So, again, like I was saying, I know Jones mentioned it before. Play that small ball, runner on base, move him over. So that'll put Yeary on second with Cam Weston coming to the plate. And one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. That pitch.
pitch is in there for a strike. So like I said, Cam flew out to, to left in his first at bat, single to center his last at bat when he let off the fourth inning. That pitch was high for the ball. One and one is the count. Inside for ball two. Two and one. Nate on second. Nate is 22 for 22 in the stolen base department. Is he fake the go? And that pitch was called a strike. So here comes a 2 2 pitch. And Nate takes off on that pass ball. Runs account full, 3-2. So Cam's got himself a 3-2 count. Infield is in, trying to prevent the run from scoring. And that pitch is poked to the short, eh, to the second baseman. Flips it to the first baseman for the second out of the inning. So that brings up Caleb Russell, who's 0 for 2 today. He struck out looking in his first at bat, and he flew out to the second baseman in his second at bat. So the first pitch to Caleb Russell is hit right back to the shortstop. But he makes the easy play look easy as he th tosses it to the first baseman for the yeah, for the third out of the inning. So the builders do get a hit. Nope, they get zero hits. No runs, no, no errors. One man left on base. We'll be back for the top of the sixth inning after this. USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. back out there for his sixth inning of work through five innings he has given up one earned run he's got four k's and he's thrown 64 pitches has redmond so we're waiting on mr russell to get out there to throw the last two warm-up tosses so through through five innings uh saint vincent has scored one run on two hits after the third inning, uh, they've brought four men to the plate at each of those innings. In the first, I mean, if if you like trends, they the first three innings they brought up three. They went one, two, three. The next two they brought four. So we could say they're going to bring four to the plate again here. Uh, I mean, that's one way to look at it, right?
But leading off for them is Alex Hess. The short stop, the first pitch is in for a strike. He'll be file, followed by Dylan Schmoody. Second pitch is also a strike. And Mario Diso will be the first three batters of the inning for the St. Vincent Bearcats. And that ball is popped to shallow center field. Nate Erie charges, gets under it, and makes the play. So that'll bring up Dylan Schmoody, the center fielder. He's 0 for 2 in today's game. Grounding out to short in his first at bat and striking out in his second at bat. And he singles it into left field as Matt Phoebus gets over there and gets the ball in. So that'll bring up the second baseman, Mario Disso. He's one for two today. Grounding out to the shortstop and then doubling down the right field line. Nick Redmond checks the runner at first by throwing over. The first pitch into Disso is a strike. Throws over again. One pitch. That ball singled or hit to second, flips to short for one, over to Hunter for two. So that'll do it. That'll end the inning as the builders get the four six three double play. We'll be back for the bottom of the sixth inning. Right after this. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning here at War Memorial Stadium. Builders holding on to that thin lead. Two to one. Uh, due up are the five, six, seven hitters for the Builders. Starting with Hunter Johnson, the first baseman. And Hunter is one for two today. Flew out to center and singled. Later scoring a run. First pitch is ball. Second pitch is ball. So Hunter quickly has a 2-0 count. Tyler Danku has thrown his 76th and 77th pitch. He threw 75 pitches through five innings with two earned runs and three strikeouts. Third pitch is a ball. And he's quickly worked a 3-0 count here to Hunter.
Hunter had the green light at 3-0, and he takes a big swing and a miss for strike one. Still a very good hitter's count. You know he's got to stay near the strike zone. Probably not going to try to make you chase something. And I, right as I say that, I feel like Hunter just chased something. But that's beside the point. All right, so the count's full. 3-2 pitch inside, ball four. So Hunter, after quickly working his way to a 3-0 count, turned around and swung at the next two to make it full, but ends up drawing his walk anyway. That'll bring up Nolan Edwards. He's two for two today. Uh Two for two, doubled in his first at bat and singled in his second at bat. Both were to left field. The first pitch he saw was a strike. Throw over to keep Hunter honest. Hunter's three for three in the stolen base department. So far on this short season, they throw over again. Safe again. Since that bat, they've gone to the plate once and thrown to, thrown to first twice. So kicks, pitches, and that ball's hit into center. And it hung up just long enough to get to the center fielder. As Nolan flies out to the center fielder. Probably a little bit due to the wind blowing out. Probably helped that ball fly a little farther to the center fielder. Bring up Jeremy Harmon, the DH. He's one for two today. Grounded out to the second baseman and singled to, er, yeah, I think, yeah, singled to center. That ball's fouled straight back to the to the screen. For strike one. I'm not sure what Coach Jones wants to discuss with the umpire. That ball's fouled back up over my head for strike two. Wonder if he sees something in the delivery or something. That ball's bounced to third. He fires across the diamond to the first baseman for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring up Matt Phoebus. He's 0 for 2. He was struck out looking and flown out to right. So here's his first pitch in there for a strike. So Matt's batting here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two out, runner on second base. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. And 
that's the second time he struck out looking today that he does not agree with that call either. But that'll do it. The builders go down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bearcats only have three outs left. We'll be back for the top of the seventh inning here with Builder Bay. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. All right, welcome back. Top of the seventh inning. Nick Redmond's still out there. So Redmond's out for the seventh. Three, four, five, due up. So that brings up D.H. Dalton Niccolo. It's his first pitch. He swings through and misses strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. And that ball's hit to Cam. It's at short. Makes an easy catch for the first out of the inning. So that leaves the Bearcats down to their final two outs and brings up Billy Perros, the first baseman, who's a 0 for 2 today, flew out to the center and grounded out to the third baseman. He steps in, a little outside, ball one. There's a strike. One, two pitch. And that ball. Poked into deep left center field. And Perez stays for a stand-up double. So that'll bring up Vincent Amatucci, the third baseman. One for two today. He doubled and flew out to left field. It's at first, it looks like. We're probably going to have a pitching change as Ben Jones comes out to the mound. He takes the ball. Takes the ball for Nick. And we'll be back. And we'll talk about uh, the new pitcher after this here on Build with Builder Baseball on Builder Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. Like the team, everybody's a team player. 
Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. And it's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together from my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys. Everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in, they don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. Welcome back in. Yeah, we got Tyler Brett. Not Tyler. That name did not roll off the tongue right. Sorry. It's Justin Bradshaw, number 18. Bradshaw's making his sixth appearance of the season. He's 1-0. For a win-loss record, he's got a .75 ERA. He's got one save. He's given up six hits total. One run total. He's given up four walks on the season and struck out three on the season. His first pitch is outside for ball one. Redmond threw six point six and a third. Gave up four hits, struck out four, and responsible for the runner on second. So his book's not yet closed. Now we got a two oh count. That ball's grounded to third. Briggs scoops and throws over to first for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring up the catcher, Derek Hald. He's 0 for 2 today. He's flown out to the shortstop and flown to center. Has a sack. I'm sorry, so he's technically 0 for 1 because he has a sack fly. Bearcats down to their final out. The first pitch from Bradshaw's in there for a strike. Second pitch was outside for ball one. Pitch of the at bat is grounded over to the second baseman. Flip to Hunter. That'll do it. The Builders take game one with a 2 1 lit, 2 1 win. So the St. Vincent Bearcats scored one run on three hits. No runners left, or no errors. I'm sorry, forget the runners left. The Builders scored three runs. Was it just two runs? Two runs on six hits and had no errors. The second game will start in roughly 30 minutes, so about 3 o'clock we'll get going on this second game. We appreciate you guys watching us here on, on Builder Sports YouTube, and uh, we'll be back in about 30 minutes for game two.